everybody. Uh, welcome to today's tutorial. We are going to talk about um, getting your ebook and setting up your uh, mailing list for your website. And um, I encourage you to read my previous blog post about um, setting up your first ebook for your sales funnel. If you hadn't, it might be a wise thing to do. And uh, for now, what we are going to do, we are going to use this website, Master Resale Rights, um, to get our free ebook that we are going to be giving away to our subscribers or visitors. We want to give them something away of value for free, so then they become our uh, subscribers. And this is a perfect place for this. This is uh, masterresalerights.com. And they have tons of ebook. If you go to uh, personal niches, so those are the books uh, about uh, weight loss and health and stuff. And the one I chose is this one. And the reason why I chose this one is if you go in and have a look. It actually it describes um, what it comes with. Well, it comes with many gadgets, that's one thing. Uh, I might be using it later, but for now what interests me is distribution rights. And um, pretty much everything here says yes, except for uh, may sell on auction website. Well, that's something I don't want to do. But I want to give that book away for free for my subscribers and here it says added to free membership websites, yes. And uh, private label rights, yes. Giveaway rights, yes. Uh, I don't need to give it away as a PLR. Uh, so that's fine. I'm just going to give it away to my subscribers, visitors, who will then become my subscribers. But the thing is, I'm just going to give it away for free for them so that they provide me with their email and become, uh, you know, uh, my subscribers who will then receive my weekly newsletters and promotional offers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is very important. So when you're looking at uh, products and books to give away for free, always make sure that this is, um, that this is there and it says yes. And it also actually, it's also very nice if you have the full copyrights and if you have a graphic copyright, because obviously then you can change the book. You can uh, take the content and design your own cover. You can add to the content. You can modify it. And that's what we are going to do. I mean, that's what I'm going to do for the niche I'm creating right now. But it's pretty important because you don't want to uh, end up stuck with the same cover because that book is most likely sold or given away on any other website related to my niche so in order to beat the competition you need to stand out and that's what we need but for now for the sake of this tutorial we're just gonna set it up so this one is um, you know giving away for free in this particular form so I'm just gonna purchase it here add to cart and then I'm gonna go through all the stuff you know like fill in my credit card details Okay, so here is the book I downloaded, uh, Weight Loss Resolution Roadmap. I'm going to extract that folder. Uh, there it is. Okay, so it seems like it has everything here. There is a license here. Perfect. Everything makes sense as on the website. Let's go and see the ebook itself. So here is the ebook in PDF. I'm gonna double click it. That's how it looks. It looks pretty nice. That's the cover. There's the disclaimer there. There's a table of contents. It looks super nice and it's super long and actually it's great. So I'm gonna give it away on my website. Um, so what I need for that book, I need the PDF file. I'm going to copy it, Control C. Uh, I'm going to make a new 
remove all their here. Uh, free gift. I'm gonna put it there, paste. Then I'm gonna go to the book again. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna grab that uh, ebook cover. I'm gonna copy it because I need it for my giveaway. Here it is. So here I have my free ebook and I have that ebook cover. Now let's go to my website and let's set up what we need to set up there. Perfect, I'm logged in. Um, this is our website, the one that we built in the last uh, course. I added a little bit of text here, still working on it, but uh, you know, pretty much what you should write on your welcome page here. I'm sure you played with it. Uh, it would be nice to write a bunch of text that uh, will encourage your uh, visitor to get your free ebook. And this is what we'll be working on right now. We're going to be setting this website up so it actually gives away that free ebook. So what we need to do is we need to put an image here in that area, in that uh, rectangle. We need to put an image of our ebook. Um, let's uh, let's do that. And in order to do that, let's go to dashboard. Let's go to appearance widgets. That's what we're going to be editing main sidebar. Let's just remove everything from here. Let's delete the search for now. Let's delete the recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories. Let's delete the meta. Let's now look for something that could work. Uh, text, arbitrary text or HTML. That's what we need. So we need to click on it. Let's add it to main sidebar. Um, add widget. Perfect. So now we have a text in the main sidebar. Let's see if it works. Let's uh, write some text here. Ebook image. Save. Close. Let's now see. Let's go to the website. Press enter. Didn't work. Hmm. Let's go back pages. Here, let's do quick edit. Let's do sidebar template. Perfect. So here we have our ebook image. That's exactly what we need. So what we need to do is we need to scale down this image because it's too big for our website. And I'm going to do that with Photoshop. I'm going to edit this image with Photoshop. I'm going to scale it down. Okay, so right now I'm going to scale that picture down. And uh, I'm going to crop it using the crop tool. So click here and now just crop it a little bit. Yeah, like this. We don't need that much of a white space around it. Uh, it's snapping a little bit here, but it's okay. Okay. Double click, done. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to scale that image. So go to image size and here we want to check that on. And I think for our particular template a good size would be 350. Yeah, 516 sounds good. Press all right. Now uh, save our work. Save us. And let's save it as 350. Uh, that's the one we're going to use. Free gift 350px JPEG. Save. Done. Okay, now in our dashboard, we need to go to media. And we're going to add a new media. And what we're going to add here is select. We're going to do that 350 that we just saved. 
Free gift 350, double click it. And it's uploaded. Perfect. Now let's get to edit. Now here on the file URL, double click, Ctrl A, Ctrl C. We copy that URL. And now let's go to our let's go to our appearance and uh, widgets. And here we added that text, remember? Uh, click it, clear it, and we're gonna write something like that. Image SRC equals and we're gonna put it in those characters. And I'm gonna close that image tag. That's our HTML and that's what you have to pretty much write. So put that URL here. Your URL will be different than mine most likely, but yeah. And then save. Now go to your website, see how it looks. And uh, it looks great, you know, we have that image here. Now another thing we're gonna do, that's a bonus uh, from me, it's a bonus from me, uh, we're gonna upload another uh, graphic. So go to your media and then add new and um, you see this article has that red arrow attached to it just download it and then you can upload it back and uh, again click on edit that's how it should look or similar to this and uh, go again to your appearance widgets go to that text and add another image paste that link, close your image tag and uh, save and let's see how it looks reload your website it's looking great uh, I was thinking maybe you wanna add some more space between the arrow and the book so go to back to your widgets and here type in VR that's line break tag Don't be scared of HTML, it's your friend. Save. Now refresh. And ta-da! There we have some more white space between. Okay, we gotta wrap it up this time. Uh, I thought we would have some more time, but we're running out. Um, most likely in the next tutorial, uh, we're gonna add an opt-in box here. And uh, we're gonna register you with Aweber. Um, we need that to proceed. We might also build a download page for your ebook and a thank you page. And uh, with that, let's leave uh, this tutorial at that. And thank you very much for watching. And please feel free to leave comments or uh, support. I'm open for feedback. I just want you guys to understand what I'm doing here. If it's not clear, uh, ask questions. And thank you very much. Um, have a great week. Cheers.